Hello everybody, how are you doing today? I hope you are doing great. I am doing well. For those of you who are new here, hi, hello, welcome. My name is Nikki and this is my channel, The Cheapo Chateau, where we attempt to make things look good for cheap. <laughs> so this one wall in my kitchen has been kind of driving me crazy. I feel like this wall could just be something more. It could be prettier, it could be functional. You know what? I got a boring wall and we need to do something about it. <laughs> so I planned this beautiful kind of country cafe sort of look and uh, I'm really excited to show it to you today. I am obsessed with how it turns out and I really hope you guys enjoy it. So we're gonna be using some uh, peel and stick wallpaper. We are gonna put some new shelves up. So we're gonna make this wall look like it's intentionally decorated you know what I mean like there was some thought put into this particular space okay I can't even wait anymore let's let's just jump right in and I'm gonna show you what we did with this wall because really happy with it if that wasn't obvious let's just let's just go Okay, so this is the area that we're gonna be working on next. I wanna do, s I wanna redo this. This is like, this top is like a brown laminate wood. Um, well, <laughs> I use the term wood very, very loosely, um, but this is just like a hot mess. The dog's food is on here. He's constantly spilling over. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's pretty nasty. Um, I have this basket. And I think everybody has some place like this. <laughs> Let me know if you do. I definitely have multiple spots like this. This basket is full of just like stuff. Like, you know, that stuff that you don't really know where to put, but you're like, I'll put it in there. That way I know where it is. Okay, so all of that stuff is in that basket. Um, so I need to go through that. I wanna clear this whole thing off because we're doing like a little accent wall here. Um, so I've got this really pretty, so it's like, um, okay, through here it looks like a marble, but it's actually like a stone look. It's really, really nice. And so I wanted to do just an accent wall there and then just have like a really nice, simple station right here for the coffee. Um, eventually I would like to, actually, as soon as humanly possible, I would like to get another microwave. This microwave actually just came with the house and I hate it more than I can tell you. <laughs> So this morning, my main focus really is just to clean this whole thing off. I'm going to use contact paper on the, the surfaces, like the shelves, and just change them up a bit. That wood really doesn't kind of go with anything. But so the main goal today, really, because the contact paper that I want for this is going to be the same as the countertops, which doesn't come for two days. So today we're just cleaning it all off, getting all the stuff on there organized. I want to pull it away from the wall, pull everything off the wall, get the wall really, really nice and clean, and then go ahead and attempt to um, install this wallpaper. So that's the plan for today. We'll see how far we get. Um, I also have a little Ikea storage system that I'm going to be putting here somewhere as well as two little shelves that are super cute that I got on Amazon. <clears throat> Let me show you. I thought they were really cute. They're just like a simple wood and I thought they would look really nice on um, like the brick background. So that's what I'm going to use for all of my spices and I really needed to get moving on this because my spices have been just sitting on my countertop um, and it's driving me absolutely mental. So that's what we're doing today. We're cleaning, we're prepping, and uh, hopefully <laughs> we're installing some, some wallpaper. I think I may need to buy a second roll. Um, there's a lot on here. Maybe I won't, I don't know. This is, says covers three foot, five inch by eight foot. Yeah, I might need more. We'll see. If I need to order another one, I'll order another one. It wasn't cheap. Um, I think, I want to say this was in the 
$35 to $40 range for this one roll, which is probably way more than I should have spent. But I'm kind of hoping that for a project like this, that it's one of those you get what you pay for sort of things. Um, and as far as I've read, it has really good reviews. Um, it is the new wallpaper, the peel and stick new wallpaper. I'll link it in my description. Um, if it all goes well, if it doesn't and it sucks, obviously I'm not going to recommend it to you. Uh, that's another thing I probably should mention. Anything that's in the description of my video or things that I've used, I've tried, they work. Okay, let's just, let's just start and we'll get this all cleaned up. Okay, so the first thing that I need to do, obviously, is clean off this godforsaken mess of a shelf. Now, I actually, in retrospect, don't think I'm going to keep this exact shelf here. There's another one that I have my eye on that matches perfectly with the new shelves that you're going to see me install a little bit later. Um, but yeah, this whole station was just a mess. And, oh god, looking back, I hate that my grape so much really just want to pull an office space with it you know toss it out in the backyard grab my baseball but sorry getting off anyways so <laughs> uh yeah first part and most important part is always your prepping regardless of what project you're doing around the house is to clean um obviously this part is just me cleaning the shelving um but in a few minutes here you'll see that i really thoroughly clean the wall itself when you're putting up any kind of peel and stick paper um even wallpaper paint uh the prep is the most important part as diy danny says it's not a sexy step but it is an important step <laughs> and i always think of that when i'm doing this i'm like this isn't glamorous but it is what it is and it has to be done so anyway <clears throat> Prepping is always the most important part, in my opinion, and the opinion of many others when you are doing any project such as this. Uh, so here I am just cleaning the wall and I will tell you that um, on the instructions or directions for this particular peel and stick wallpaper, um, it does recommend that you don't use anything to clean the surface besides plain old water. Um, any residue or um, oils or soaps or anything like that can ensure that it does not stick properly. Uh, so I've got my sink full of um, warm water and I'm just going through and giving this this wall a really good clean. Now I'm going back in with this amazing new product that I found that I'm obsessed with. <laughs> it is this, uh, it's kind of like um, a spackle, but it's in this little tube. It has everything you need. So the go ahead and app, uh, apply it. It's got the little um, like a spatula on the other end sort of thing. And then once that's all dry, um, it's got a sander on the, the top of the cap. So it's like an all in one thing. I'll link it down in my Amazon storefront. Super great. Anyway, so here I am just taking off the, um, the switch plate. There's the sanding process in case you didn't know what sanding looked like. <laughs> oh boy. Um, <clears throat> Anyway, so then I just went back in and made sure that there was no residual ick. Now, this is an important step, I will tell you. So measuring how long you need your first piece cut. The second piece isn't quite as important because um, you can sort of match it up with the one beside it. And you'll have to match the actual pattern if you're using... Um, wallpaper with a pattern. This wallpaper is great and you will see and I will spew on about it because the ease at which you are able to line up the pattern is amazing and it is seamless. Unless you really get up close and really, really look, you can't tell where one piece ends and the next begins. It's fantastic. Can't recommend this wallpaper enough, but I go on about that later. So anyway, make sure that it is completely straight. So this outside one was, like I said, the most important piece because I needed to make sure it didn't overlap the wall on the left-hand side. 
um, and it needs to hang perfectly straight. So I just take piece down at a time and go ahead and use my little tool, make sure it's all flat. <coughs> And then we get to the outlet. So in order to do that, I just kind of felt with my fingers where that was, took my scissors and just kind of cut out around the outside. This stuff is really easy to work with. This was not difficult. Um, it just took me seconds and then I just continued on. Now, the one thing that I will recommend or just something to look out for is if you have any particular moment where uh, you have to go around something or it's not a, a completely full straight piece. Um, it is, if you have to pull up on that paper for any reason, or if it gets slightly skewed, um, it can really easily go sideways and, and get, I don't want to say a bubble. It's not, I mean, it ends up getting a bubble because of it, but it stretches. It's like the material itself stretches a bit and it's really difficult to flatten it back out because then you're creating a longer piece because it's stretched. Does that make sense? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> aside from that though, this process was great. And there, I, threw a little mini hissy fit there because I had about a, a two centimeter gap at the bottom, which nobody would ever notice except me. But there we go. Get the little switch plate back on. Love it. Looks so good. Make sure everything's all tidy. So then um, with the second piece, what you want to do before you peel back anything is make sure that the the brick work lines up. I mean, you don't have to do this, but I feel like if you're gonna take the time to install something like this, you want it to look like it's one cohesive piece all the way across. So take your time, find where it matches. You may have to cut quite a bit off the top to find out where the pattern starts to repeat again, um, which is something that I did have to do. So I think I had to cut about six or eight inches off the top till I got the top to where it matches the top of the previous piece. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> so we're getting to the part where I have to cut around this old phone um, box, the, you know, the thing with you used to plug in like a phone, <laughs> you know, back when people had landlines. Um, Anyways, so when I stuck this back down, it's a little difficult to see, but I did struggle a little bit because I don't know if it was just slightly off because of the hole I cut, um, but I did struggle with this piece a little bit. And it's one of those things that um, I, I picked up on how to do it quite quickly. It's really easy to install. Um, you just really need to be careful that everything is really, really straight. That's why your prep is so important to make sure that you have everything lined up in advance and not just at the top, but all the way down. Okay. So I ran out. <laughs> I've already ordered. Um, actually, I think I might get two more rolls because I really like this and I may do it elsewhere. Don't really know, haven't decided. Um, but let me see if I can back up here and show you the whole situation. I think I've got enough on there that I can put the things that I want at least on the wall. Um, the really cool part about this wallpaper is that it lines up, like it's really easy to see where it lines up. So even if you come up close, you really can't tell where the seams are. Now there is a seam directly in front of you. Can you see it? Do you see it? Right. Uh, so I did use, um, two, this is two pieces actually, even still it lined up really nicely. Um, and you can't tell that a, it's not one continuous piece all across. And you definitely can't tell that this is two separate pieces. <laughs> like if you get up really, really close, you can see it. Um, 
So let's hope it sticks up there. Uh, the reviews were really, really good on this stuff. Um, so like I said, I will link it in my Amazon storefront. Um, it goes on really, really nicely. Um, I do highly recommend you invest in a, um, I feel like they're called like a peel and stick wallpaper kit or something like that. It comes with your scraper, the soft side, as well as the harder side. It comes with your tiny little exacto knife, um, and all the things that you need to properly install a peel and stick wallpaper. But I love how this turns out so far. <laughs> and so I'm going to go ahead and put up the things that I know will be going in those spaces. Um, I believe I have enough room for my spice racks so that I can get those installed and get them up, uh, get all my spices off the counter. Um, yeah. And then once my <laughs> new rolls come in I'll go ahead and finish up this side and that way at least Jordan will be here to help me pull out the oven um the one thing I do want to check though is if this wallpaper like what the the heat rating on this wallpaper is uh that is definitely something to consider when you're putting peel and stick wallpaper or peel and stick like countertop uh in a kitchen you want to make sure that the heat rating is is high enough so that it's not going to either ignite or um uh, just peel off once it gets heated. So that is one thing that I'm going to check. Now I've already kind of thought out in advance if that doesn't work what I'm going to do is take a little piece of trim put it across and down and then that will so it kind of like designates that area like I have a vision in mind I don't know if it's coming across. Anyway that's my only other option should this not be rated for super high heat. I mean, it doesn't get crazy warm, but it's going to get warm enough that I don't want it to just like fall off the wall. So I'm going to go ahead and continue here and uh, hopefully I can get this all put back together by the time Jordan gets home from work. Now I know it may seem weird that I'm putting things back on the wall when the wall is not completely finished. But like I said, I had stuff all over the kitchen. Um, I knew that this wallpaper wasn't going to be in for another, I think it was two days. And I just didn't obviously want all this stuff sitting all over my kitchen. So I really just took everything that I could put back and put it back. So here I'm installing the shelves. This is a great way if you're hanging, um, things and you want to make sure that you're drilling the holes in the right places. So what I did was, <clears throat> and I should have filmed this, this part, but that's on me. Um, so I just laid down my spice rack on the counter, took a piece of painter's tape and traced where the holes are. And then just made sure that I stuck that on the wall where, and made sure that it was level. And then um, I can just drill right through the tape into the wall and then your holes are even perfectly spaced and it's so super easy. If you don't know the tape trick, um, highly recommend. <laughs> it's uh, most definitely a much easier way to drill holes and here I'm doing the second one. I love uh, the little shelves. They looked really super cute. They went with the kitchen. They looked so nice on that like faux stone background with all of my cute little Ikea spice jars. Obsessed. So here we are a couple days later, I have my second roll. Um, side note, they did go up in price by a few dollars since I ordered the first one because, you know, Murphy's Law and all that. Um, so with these pieces, I really had to make sure that I measured everything out, especially with the next side over because it isn't going to be a full sheet. Um, so it's really important that you take your time. I cannot emphasize that enough. Take your time, make sure things line up. Um, it may take a little longer, but the end process is going to look clean and much more professional and put together than if you just kind of hack and rush your way through it. Now, when I was installing this piece, it was going on, see there, there was my mistake right there ripping it off the wall. Um, if you pull too hard on one side, like I was explaining before, the actual material stretches a bit, which 
in turn makes it not able to lie flat. So this particular piece I did struggle with a little bit. You can see I'm getting a little frustrated and flustered there. Um, I was able to get it on the wall looking good with no bubbles, but it was a little bit more of a process. So just really be careful um, when you're prepping everything and lining it all up that it is straight the first time because once you pull it off and go to put it back, it's never quite the same. Um, so here right now I'm just moving everything because I need to get that stove out of there. So I have to call in the hubby to move the heavy stuff. Thank you, darling. Um, now what I didn't show and is a very important part Again, with the prepping, I really had to make sure that I came in here and gave this wall a really good clean. Um, you know, if you've ever cleaned a kitchen, which I'm sure you have, that a lot of residual grease just from the air, from being beside the stove, etc., a lot of stuff gets on the walls beside your stove. So I actually went in with my um, all-purpose cleaner, sprayed it all down, gave it a really good clean, and then went back in with just my water and wiped it all back down. So these right now are the pieces that I really had to measure. So I did a lot of measuring, a lot of braining. I had to use my brain. <laughs> <laughs> a lot here and I cut separate pieces because it was a lot easier so I cut that top piece and now I'm working on the second piece that kind of fits beside the range there and I'm not going all the way down to the floor so I did contact the manufacturer of this wallpaper um, there have been people that have used it around fireplaces and whatnot and because I don't have if you have a gas stove where there's open flame and it does get really hot I probably wouldn't recommend putting this near the stove um, but I just have an electric stove and it doesn't get that hot but I didn't put it all the way down I just put it so you can kind of there you can kind of see <laughs> it looks like it's a full wall but there's a space there beside the stove that is not finished so there I'm just going back in and putting all of my stuff on the shelves with my little ficus plastica <laughs> that's the only faux plant that I have in my house but I thought it looked really cute hanging back up my little paintings I love these they're very like Paris cafe uh, but I thought they looked really nice on the stone wall <laughs> admiring my work <laughs> fabulous What did you think? Oh, I love how it looks. It just elevates that room that much more with the new cabinets and now the new wall. Oh, I am so happy with how it all turned out. Anyway, let me know what you think. Let me know if you have worked with peel and stick wallpaper before. Honestly, the entire experience was so like that paper although it was a little bit expensive um <clears throat> it was definitely easier to work with than regular wallpaper and it went on so nicely um I really think that with that sort of product you really get what you pay for 
and I definitely got my money's worth when it came to this particular wallpaper because it's just amazing. Um, we are now a week later and it is still up. There is no peeling corners, there's no bubbling, there's no nothing. That paper is on there and it still looks fantastic. And even my kids think it's cool. So you know if it's like teen and preteen approved that it looks pretty cool. <laughs> Anywho, um, I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, please consider doing so. It is a huge help to my channel and I really do appreciate it. Um, also make sure you turn on that notifications bell so that you get notified when I upload my next video. Um, currently I am uploading every Sunday as of recording this. Um, I don't know whether that'll change in the future. It may change down the line, but right now Sundays are super comfortable for me at 10 a.m. That's Eastern Standard Time. So I hope to see you in next Sunday's video. With that said, I would like you all to have an amazing and wonderful day, night, week, month, and year. I love you all to bitty bits, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.